Promix is one of the most popular grow mediums that exists, and they offer a wide range of different grow mediums, but today, we're gonna test the HP version. HP stands for high porosity, which is well draining because it has a high percentage of perlite. Now, I wouldn't call this soil because other than perlite, this is mainly peat and sphagnum based. So when it dries up, the texture is light, crumbly, and coarse. This version includes bacillus, which is a natural biofungicide, and mycorrhizae, which has a symbiotic relationship with your plant roots and helps break down nutrients in the medium. The lab test I submitted to the University of Delaware shows that this mix has low soluble salts and across the board, it's rated low to acceptable on every main nutrient except for phosphorus. Since it's low on nutrients, this mix is perfect for either seedlings or clones, but as plants get bigger, you're gonna wanna add nutrients. This is not organic, but since it has mycorrhizae, you can add organic nutrients and worm castings, and the mycorrhizae will break it down. Definitely pre-moisten this soil for at least five days before using. The amount of nutrients you'll add is based on the size of the plant and the volume of soil, and a brief summary on what I would do is included in the description. The high porosity also makes this a good medium for succulents, but I would still add more phosphorus because both succulents and plants that fruit will require more. Finally, my at-home slurry test came back at 6.8, which is extremely close to the 6.7 from the lab test. This is ideal for most plants, but it really depends on what you're growing. To learn how to balance your soil, watch this video linked on the top right. If you found value in this content, like, comment, and hit that bell. For more tutorials on how to grow, check out my site, evigrows.com